Okay, so here we're going to talk about lung volumes and we're going to make it really simple. So first, let's just fill in these values in this chart over here. Okay, so here we have our values. Let's start with total lung capacity. So that's easy. Imagine breathing in as much as you can. <gasps> So all that air that's in your lungs, that's the maximum amount of air that could be in your lungs, that's the total lung capacity. Then we come out to vital capacity. So vital capacity, let's say you breathe in as much as you can, and then you breathe out as much as you can. All that air that you're able to breathe out is the vital capacity. But there's still going to be some air that you can't get out, that's the air inside of your lungs, and that's the residual volume that's left over. And that is the amount that cannot be measured through spirometry. Okay, then we come up to inspiratory capacity. So imagine you're breathing normally, you're breathing normally, and then after you exhale normally, then you breathe in as much as you can. <gasps> that's the inspiratory capacity, because that's the amount that you can inspire, the most you can inspire after a normal expiration. Okay, then we come to expiratory reserve volume. This is when you're breathing normally, and after you expire, how much more can you further expire? <sighs> that's the expiratory reserve volume. And then what's left again is the residual volume. Then we come up to inspiratory reserve volume. Imagine you're norm breathing normally, and after you inspire, you inspire even more. <gasps> Meaning after you inspire normally, you inspire more. You force more inspiration. That's the inspiratory reserve volume. And then we come to this volume. This is the most discussed uh, measurement. And this is the tidal volume. This is how much you normally breathe. <sighs> that's the tidal volume. And then we come up to the functional reserve capacity. And that's that after a normal expiration, how much is left in your lungs after a normal expiration? So these values are extremely important for diagnosis in pulmonary pathology, and we'll discuss these a lot. But what's fantastic about this chart is you could see the, uh, the relationships. Let's say total lung capacity. So total lung capacity is going to be FC plus RV, or total lung capacity is going to be IC plus ERV plus RV, or total lung capacity is going to be IRV plus TV plus ERV plus RV. It's fantastic. You don't need to like do any math. You can just look at this chart and see it. So this is a great chart to have, and I hope it's helpful.